Hello everyone. Today let's to try to solve the problem of this Dell Optiplex GX280 desktop. Actually this desktop here it's powering on but there is no display. Let me switch it on and say show you. So, as you can see and here this fans on. It's switching on but there is no display, no image. No output, image, monitor output. So let's check what's the problem with this. First of all, switch off the mains, remove the power cable. This one. Now, for removing this desktop, we need to press the knob here, this one, and here one more. Just press it and pull the cabinet. It comes in this way. It becomes like a car bonnet. Have you seen this one? Here. Actually, earlier I tried to replace the BIOS battery, this one. I removed the RAM, cleaned it and inserted it back, but the problem still persists. So now all I need to do is here I can see you can see two capacitors have bulge these two capacitors they have bulge so we need to replace these two capacitors and check if the display will be okay for that now disconnect the monitor cable okay in this way and here just let me pull this one a bit this way. so let me disconnect the power cable okay. this is the front panel USB USB audio etc These are for SATA connectivity. Just press them gently, push pull them gently. Don't put too much of force. As it has been, it's a very old desktop. Try to pull it gently. Just shake it a bit. If it's not coming out. As you can see there is a screw here, just remove this screw, okay slide it, this is the fan connector, just remove it. Start here this way. Now we can see it clearly. This is the main board. So we need to replace these two capacitors and check if we will get the display.
what is offering so all i need to do is hit it from one side and select the soldering from other side Put it on one side. And the other. One hole is not at clear. Third one. Usually it is a difficult to clear the ground pins because too much of copper is there and it goes on dissipating the heat. Okay, now it is clear. Now let us insert by the here you can see the polarities are already given positive, negative, positive, negative. So we take the new capacitor. The new capacitors are a bit bigger one. So I need to clear positive negative. Okay. One will fit in this way. The other one goes out of the way. One will be like this. No issues. The legs either you can use the diagonal cutter or a nail cutter. Okay, let's connect it and check now. No. Need to fix it. Here you see these screws, the main board should enter into those screws, then push it and fasten a screw here. Okay. Now This is to a load supply to the CPU. Now, let me apply some heat sink paste, heat sink compound, applying the heat sink compound. Put in this way. No. 
actually there will be a lock here but it has already been broken so both the sides the lock is broken or else what you need to press the lock and remove the fan take the wire that side these are the grooves insert and push it down this one like this now here comes the front audio this is for the these two are SATA as it was I am connecting it as it was later I will insert the battery if the display is ok this is the fan here is the fan connector ok press it ok now let's check it ok let's switch it on and check now we can see that the fan is not rotating with full speed let me show you as you can hear the beep booting booting up beep let me you can see now the fan is not running with full speed and the system is also booting only thing is this black line it is not the CPU problem it is the monitor problem so press F1 and continue now the system is okay there is display okay now all I need to do is do the configuration because the BIOS was reset uh, as I had removed the battery now we will close this cabinet just all we need to do is just press it push it down this way until it locks on both the sides ok hope this video is going to be helpful for you in solving the powering on no display of your Dell Artiplex GX280 desktop system. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video, and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good time.